What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here coming to you with the latest update from Supercell on Clash of Clans. I'm sure I'm, I'm a little late to the party here. I know you guys have probably seen tons of other videos, but I thought I'd just do one uh, of my own, give you a quick little review, of some of the changes that are done, and you know my opinion on it and what I think about it. And to be honest, I'm a little bit underwhelmed uh, with what was hyped up and what was supposed to be awesome and just everything game changing and so much fun and everything. And I, I'm not seeing it. Let's go to our correspondent, uh, Jay Sherman, see what he says about this. It stinks. Oh well, okay. I don't. Know. I mean, I don't know about that. I, it's just. I, I, I would probably say something a little differently, but um, let's just take a look at some of the things that uh, were the changes of, of this. And um, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a look, go and, and see what you all think about it. So firstly, uh, let's look at some of the, the just changes that I can't really show you, but uh, we'll talk about them real quick. The new clone spell, um, at uh, Town Hall le uh, 11, level 5 gives you a total of 40 capacity, which is like 8 balloons or cl cloning 2 dragons for 2 extra dragons and so forth. And there's a uh, clone level 3 at Town Hall 10. Uh, there's a freeze spell, level 6 at Town Hall 11. There is a heal spell uh, at uh, level 7 at Town Hall 10, so there's an increased cap there. And then uh, Town Hall 9 gets a little tiny bit of love with uh, two new um, collectors or whatever you want to call it. One gold mine and one elixir collector. So you can see right here that I am upgrading uh, my elixir collector from uh, level 7 to level 8 and my gold mine from level 7 to level 8. So don't really see the big benefits for, for me, but you know whatever uh, the small small bomb damage was increased which means that a small bomb will always take out a wall breaker of equal level and then uh, the balloon attack is increased but the damage done was decreased uh, per drop so the total all DPS or damage done by the balloon was not changed it stays the same but the initial drop is going to be quicker but less damage so that just means that it's not, from what I've seen, it doesn't really affect the, too much of anything. But um, when you're trying to take out a mortar for, uh, for a one-for-one -one trade with loons, sometimes depending on how much time it, it spends on the mortar, it's not enough time to do with that one drop and, and death damage kill. So um, you know that that will make, make a little bit of a change. And sometimes when you are uh, sending a small amount of loons, one or two, they won't be able to take out that defense they normally can before they're taken out. But uh, a group of loons becomes a little bit more powerful because that smaller amount of damage, but a quicker drop will be will allow like five or six loons to take out a defense much quicker um, than uh, initially. So eh, I don't really see a huge change here. Not a big deal. Um, one of the, the nicer things is just one click uh, for all of your resource types. So if I click on uh, my elixir, one of them, they all get taken instead of having to go through one by one. And same thing with the dark elixir. It'll go ahead and take both of those dark elixir drills. And um, finally, from what I know, is the witch actually gives an explosion. So let's go ahead and jump into here. And we'll just show you exactly what I mean when the witch dies. Uh, she actually blows up into, I think, four skeletons. And that probably will change with the level. But here you go. There's the witch right there. And you can see she just blew up. And uh, I'll do it one more time. So there's the witch there spawning her skeletons. Cannon, mortar, boom, skellies. So they're uh, taken care of. And uh, they are... Um, give you a little bit, a little extra DPS, not really a big deal, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, now, after you've seen all those amazing changes, what do you think about the update at this point? It stinks, it stinks, it stinks. 
Oh, well, all right. Well, you know, that's, I haven't shown you the best yet, right? So we've got this little boat here and this boat will go ahead and you have to, I believe you have to repair it. I already repaired it and I don't think it takes very long. But when you click on the repaired boat, it takes you to your night uh, time mode or your other builder mode uh, game, second clash of clans, whatever you want to call it. And these are all new troops and all new land. The mechanics are a little different. Again, I'm not going to go into every single mechanics. I'm still learning them my, myself. Not really having the most fun with this portion of it. I mean, I don't really like the idea of starting all over again with all new troops and the, the kind of mechanics, which I'll talk about in a second. But, you know, it is what it is. They have their set of resources right here that you can click on for the dar uh, the elixir collector and the gold mine. You have your gold storage and your elixir storage, just like the other land. And you have your builder hall, which is like the town hall, uh, of which you can go up to, I think, level five. Uh, some of the nice things about this is um, you get a gold, a gem mine. So this gem mine will allow you to actually produce gems at a rate of 2.1 per day. And then as you increase, as you say, that was 2.1, then it becomes 2.4, and so forth. The more that you upgrade that gem mine, the clock tower, when you repair it, which I haven't gotten up there, allows you to make things happen faster, you know, collect resources, train, research, and build faster. So, you know, some some really cool things. Now, the um, as far as far as I can tell, and I could be wrong, but I, I believe there's no way to really get elixir or gold as far as doing attacks unless you are under that uh, portion where you will get bonuses for your wins. You get three uh, wins, like every, uh, our options to get three wins every so many hours, and then it gives you loot bonuses, and then that will add to what you are collecting through your collectors. So um, let's just take a look at some of the troops there. We've got Raged Barbarians. Uh, they're able to, with their with special ability, and their damage, speed and damage are increased in the, for the first four seconds. And you have Sneaky Archers, who have kind of like that cloak ability that the Princess has, or I'm sorry, the Archer Queen has. Um, when, when the first second, three seconds that they're deployed, the defenses cannot see them, but they're able to go ahead and get off some shots. Then you've got Boxer Giants. And uh, they're just like normal giants. They attack defenses, but their first attack deals 250% in damage. Then you've got your beta minion, minions, and their first uh, two attacks are thrown from a way long distance, and then they have to go into a shorter range. Um, the uh, bomber, of which I haven't unlocked yet, uh, blows up bombs and also uh, buildings and things like that. It's whatever's in its range. And then a baby dragon... This is very standard, just like the original. And then you have cannon carts, which is basically a moving cannon. It's very uh, weak as far as hit points, but it's very strong as far as damage. And then some of the future things are going to be like the Night Witch like, is in Clash Royale, where she'll summon um, bats. And uh, I don't know if it's melee or ranged like it is in Clash Royale. Then you got a drop ships, which instead of dropping bombs, drops skellies. And then a super P.E.K.K.A which we don't know what that is at this point. But uh, some of the things I don't really like, and again, it might be just me getting used to it, you have your army camps, and each army camp, as far as I can see, can only hold one set of troops. So where uh, you, could, you could create two archers, four barbarians, a P.E.K.K.A., a dragon, and, and have them all in one army camp capacity, whatever fit in there. Uh, as far as I can see, your camp can only you can only have one of each troop so if you decide you want to have archers and you go ahead and do that uh, that that's all you can do there's no more you can't mix two archers and two uh, rage barbarians in that specific army camp so again i might be doing it wrong i haven't found a way to to cook the, the same troops uh different troops in one uh, army camp now that being said, you can swap them when you're in attack mode or when you're attacking another village. You can swap your archers for barbarians and your minions for giants, whatever you have. But again, not mixing and matching, you know, different sets. So it's all or nothing, again, as far as I can tell. And we'll show you that real quick when we go to attack a, a base. And also, I'm learning as I go, but I don't believe you can get attacked 
uh, while you're away. There's no shield. There's no um, anything like that that's going to protect your village, nor do you get attacked. You only get attacked when you attack somebody else. And that will take away trophies. I also don't believe, and please don't quote me if I'm wrong, that you can't lose resources by being attacked. Only trophies. And uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look. There's your um, your versus battle. It shows you what you have selected right there. You can also check out your your um, your log to see how good or how bad that you have been attacking, and you know how your your defense is against others. So we'll go ahead and we'll find somebody right now and we'll be able to look in. I also, I haven't even done the research, but it doesn't look like you can skip to the next village. It looks like you're stuck with what you got. So again, I'm not, this, I'm not that super happy about that particular thing. If I don't have a good way of attacking this base, well, I'm kind of in a bad position then. So I can swap with this little button and swap out minions for giants or archers for more archers or uh, whatever it may be. So I'll go ahead and switch out my archers for minions at this point just for the sake of showing the attack and, and what it can do. Um, you have some defenses like archer towers, cannons, double cannons, um, there's fireworks that, that attack air, um, just, just a whole bunch of different things. I don't really see a good way of me doing this particular base, so we'll go ahead and just start attacking. We'll drop some of these giants, they'll attack that. Then I'll drop some of the minions, which will go ahead and just start firing what's close to them. And uh, hopefully these giants will tank for a little bit while the minions get in there and attack the archers, the archer tower, there we go. <laughs> that uh, air bomb takes care of them all. So it's probably not going to be a very successful um, attack but you know what that's not a really big deal so the goal would be to get the highest percent between your attack and your opponent's attack there are spring traps there are push traps that will push your, your troops back and kind of set them at another thing and then you'll see that the, this this uh, attacker attacked me and got the exact same so it was pretty much a push you can see my base here as the giants will come in here uh, they will go ahead and get pushed the, the barbarians will get sprung and uh, that's kind of how it will work there we go the giants getting pushed again so I'm just forcing those giants to not be able to tank and there we go losing that giant to a spring trap so that's completely a, a wash right there um, it's just not as challenging for me as the other stuff is we'll see what supercell has in mind of combining both of the bases or maybe giving you um, you know clan wars with this type of thing but uh, um, it's just not as versatile maybe it just takes me t time to get used to it so you guys I'm sure you have all tried it yourself tell me give me your comments below on what you think about the update uh, maybe I missed a whole bunch or something that you guys have found really really cool that I haven't yet I haven't unlocked the build, build battle machine which is basically like your hero but that won't be till town hall uh, 5 or builder hall 5 and um, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything else that uh, is really, really cool besides the clock tower. But let me know what you guys think about it. Or what you would you like to be improved? Some of the things you really like about it. And uh, just go ahead and give me comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, go ahead, like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more content on these, this new base, uh, this nighttime base or this builder base, and you want want, want to show you more hints and stuff like that, let me know. Um, don't really spend too much time on it. It's just not as fun for me, but uh, I will definitely look into it and get a little bit more detail on how some of these things work and get it back to you. Uh, and always go ahead and uh, use those friendly challenges. Uh, we're still doing clan wars, still having fun with that. Get those six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks.